So, a little while ago, like, I actually don't remember when this was, almost a year ago, probably over a year ago, I joined the Facebook group, Big Sisters of Lolita Fashion. Bum, bum, bum. And you guys know a lot about the group if you are Lolita. If you don't know what it is, it's basically a group where you tag yourself as LS for little sister, meaning that you're completely new, middle sister, MS, meaning you've been in the fashion for a little bit and like you know what you're doing, or big sister, which you actually need to like qualify for and like pass a, well, we'll call it a test, you pass a test for it and it's when you are a veteran experienced Lolita. And the problem is that there are an overwhelming number of little sisters. LS's in this group. And you know what one of the most common criticisms this group gets is? Why are Lolitas so mean? And in general, in any group, why are Lolitas so mean? We're gonna talk about that today. Sit back, grab a snack, grab a cup of tea, and enjoy. <laughs> My name is Lainey, in case you didn't know, and welcome to my channel. I post videos every Tuesday and every other Friday, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and join my little family. And I also post daily to TikTok and Instagram. If you like what you see here, I post daily content there, so please support me. It would mean the world to me. And let's get started and dive right in. Whew. So, I talked about this a little bit in my reacting to my first ever Lolita Cord video, which you can go check out. If I remember, I'll link it in the description. If I don't, yell at me and I'll link it in the description. But what I talked about is when I was 14, I think, 14? Yeah. And I started doing my first Lolita Cords, I would always get a lot of criticism, and I was just like, oh my god, Lolitas are so mean! And then there was like, ugh, a few other things that happened on top of that, and I basically just stopped wearing the fashion because I couldn't handle criticism, I had like other people telling me not to do this, friends telling me not to do this, and I just gave up. And that happens to a lot of people, unfortunately, in the community, is that this criticism really just gets confused with bullying and unnecessary comments. And sure, I guess when I was 14 I could not take any criticism. I uh, can take criticism now because, you know, I'm a I'm an adult. Still, I understand where it comes from and I understand, especially with younger Lolitas, that it's very hard to follow these guidelines and to receive criticism, especially when you're just trying something and you don't really get the feel of it. So we're going to talk about basically criticism. Concrete is what it's called in the Lolita community. I think it's also called concrete everywhere else, but I mainly see concrete in the Lolita community where it's used as a term, and basically that is when you give someone criticism on their cord. And a lot of the times if you post a cord and you're a newbie, it's very easy to tell because there are these strict rules to Lolita, and veterans can tell if you're not following a single one of these rules. And I think one of the things that really annoys people, especially veteran Lolitas, is when people don't follow the rules and they break them. These rules exist for a reason. Lolita needs to have a particular silhouette and a particular, you know, must cover your wrists, cover your collarbones, have a head thingy, all of these different guidelines. And I don't think beginners really understand or appreciate that. Beginners in this community see rules as something that are meant to be broken, but you can't break rules, otherwise it's not Lolita. And it's kind of hard to understand that, but think of it this way. You are playing soccer with your friends, and you decide to pick up the ball with your hands, run it over, and toss it in the goal. You can't just say, well, I don't like the rules of soccer, I'm not gonna follow them, this is still soccer, because it's not. It's the same thing with Lolita. You can't just break some of the rules, say it's Lolita, because you're not playing by the rules of the game. It's no longer Lolita if you do that, like it's no longer soccer if you pick a ball up with your hands and score a goal. They exist for a reason and I know that sometimes it is a pain and there are obviously exceptions, especially when it comes to Lolitas who have mobility issues or Lolitas who can't wear certain types of fabric or have sensory issues or anything like that. Those are obviously exceptions to this rule. There are always going to be exceptions to different types of rules, but they are mainly there to help you. They're not there to restrict you. There are so many different combinations and so many beautiful chords you can create following these guidelines. And I also want to talk about why Lolitas are mean, because sometimes I get mean, because I get 
frustrated, especially in these group chats where you see the same people asking the same things over and over and over again. And these questions are things such as, where do I buy my petticoat? Where someone just posted that same question 20 minutes ago. It gets posted every single day, at least a dozen times a day. And it's so frustrating for veteran Lolitas and even intermediate Lolitas to keep seeing these questions and to keep answering them. It's one of those, please use the search feature on this group chat. Just please look it up. There are so many resources such as Lovely Laura's channel for beginners or so many blogs too that are designed to help out newbies. It's not fair to just comment the same question over and over again and basically waste these people's time. And I'm not saying helping out a newbie is wasting time, but when it's one question that is posted over and over and over again, it gets so frustrating to the point where some people just snap. That's basically the definition of insanity, is just doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result. They're asking the same thing over and over and over again and getting the same result. <laughs> But it's questions like that of, I'm a newbie, where do I get my petticoat? I'm a newbie, do I need to wear a blouse? Where it's like, please just do the smallest amount of research and you will understand that I promise you there are so many good resources out there. This Facebook group is like designed for people to not ask the basic, basic questions but to ask the intermediate basic questions. That makes no sense, but please don't ask questions that you could easily Google and find out yourself, that you could easily search through the Facebook page and find out yourself. It just gets a little bit tedious and a little bit repetitive and doing that same thing over and over again is going to solicit some very sarcastic responses. And another thing that makes Lolita's really mad and makes them come off is mean is when a newbie posts a cord and someone who is more advanced will ask, are you okay for concrete? And the newbie will be like, yeah, okay, please be nice about it. And I've seen this happen more times than I can count, but another Lolita will be like, hey, I think it would be really cute if you tried to pull out the pinks in your cord. Here's a link to a blouse that I think would really match what you're wearing. Maybe you should switch out your OTKs with uh, ones with this pattern instead. Like very nice, plain and simple, and just to the point what you should do. And people just don't react well to concrete, and it's just like an explosion of feelings. And I get it, you worked so hard on this cord, but you should always, always be open to advice on how to improve it. You should always be open to advice on how to improve your creations and yourself, and to become better and more experienced. And I know sometimes it's really hard to hear, especially when you're really proud of your cord, but you need to remember at the end of the day, these people are just trying to help you. They just want you to become your better you. I understand why people get really frustrated over this, but also please remember that these people are just trying to help you. They are just trying to help you. You're not going to be perfect on your first cord. Everybody goes through an Eda phase, you're not going to be perfect. I know I was definitely a mess on my first chord, which you can see my reaction to, it was really, really bad. And that's okay. It's okay if your first chord is bad, nobody's first chord is good. But what matters is that you use all of the concrete that you get to improve yourself and make yourself better and just learn. It's a learning experience. The rules exist for a reason and if you use those rules and that criticism to push yourself forward, you're gonna make beautiful, amazing chords. Hi guys, it is Editing Laney. I've been having a really bad past couple days, so just don't mind how gross I look, first of all. Second of all, don't mind the salt because I noticed I was very tame in this video and I'm not always super tame. Anyways, something else that annoys me so much that would be great to mention here that I completely forgot about and I don't know why I forgot about this because this like annoys me beyond belief but the most annoying thing ever is when like newbies give other newbies advice and it's like holy crap stop please stop no okay some newbies obviously do the research and know what they're talking about but I'm talking about those newbies that do not do a single google search they just hop on Milano and they buy that first cheap $20 dress that I have that's obviously a replica and made out of the worst, scratchiest material and think it's Lolita. 
like those are the little sisters I'm like talking about right now is when little sisters who did not do the smallest itty bittiest tiniest amount of research hop on someone else's post looking for advice and they're like <laughs> Milano is a great site also you should definitely buy replicas like no honey please take three seconds google what you're talking about first let the big boys handle this one please i get so mad talking about this but like please do not do not give advice on a subject you don't know anything about and you haven't researched and you have no experience in it'll not go anywhere decent i promise you it'll not do anything good and it'll just lead to a lot of frustration and a lot of anger and a lot of sarcasm and a lot of people being upset and infuriated like how i'm getting right now and uh also i swear i'm not always as salty i'm just really salty right now anyways back to sweet laney because we we miss them. We miss tame and controlled Lainey. Okay, let's get back to them. But yeah, as far as general meanness goes and bullying, I don't see a lot. Like, I see the uh, side gossip groups, but those are just kind of really hilarious, in my opinion, more than anything. And I see some, like, call-out Facebook groups, too, that... But most of those call out like predators, which I think is actually really a good thing. But overall, I don't really think Lolitas are that mean. I think they're just frustrated getting asked the same questions and not being heard. I think they're frustrated that people don't respect Lolita fashion enough to follow the rules. And I think they're just tired of giving genuine, genuine responses and criticism and having people just snap back and blow up at them. So please, if you are a newbie, Lolita, please, please take into consideration the other people. Be sure to Google whatever questions you have first. Or even search them in whatever Facebook groups you are part of. Look them up on YouTube, see what you can find first, and if you can't find a solid response, then go to Big Sisters of Lolita Fashion, then go to whatever fashion Facebook group you're a part of or community you're a part of and ask those questions. And if you are posting a chord, be sure to listen to Concrete, but when you take that piece of criticism in, remember that they are trying to help you, they're not trying to hurt you. What they want is for you to be your best, most frilly self. They're honestly just there to help you. I've gotten criticism, everyone has gotten criticism. It's part of the fashion, it's part of the learning experience. I wish you all the best, and I know you are going to create the most best, the most beautiful chords, and I'm so excited to see them. If anybody does like make some chords that they're very proud of, feel free to send me them over Instagram. I would absolutely love to see them. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, as I would love to have you as a part of my family. And I also post on Instagram and TikTok every single day. If you'd like to interact there, I make a bunch of Lolita TikToks that I would love to see people duet so please thank you i'll see you next time and goodbye <laughs>